Hi everyone and welcome. So today we are doing an unboxing of Thor from Endgame. So this is another Marvel legend and it says the Infinity Saga down here, Thor. And I kind of wanted a few other ones from Endgame, but guys, these are like the most expensive ones I feel, or one of the most expensive ones that you can find online because Endgame was a huge moment. So it does kind of make sense to me, but I do wish I could get Iron Man, Captain America, but those are going for like 70 to to $100, which is a lot. So Thor somehow isn't the most expensive. He was like 20 US dollars. And yeah, let's jump into it. Let's look at the box and we will see uh, what this figure entails. So I'll say right off the bat, I do like this box the most out of every Marvel legend I have done so far. I just think it looks really clean cut and I like the black border. I like the Avengers Endgame up in the corner here. It says Legend Series and it has the Infinity Saga. And it looks like down here on the box is the dust. Um, that's just my guess, but it does look like that when Thanos snaps, you know? But of course this is Endgame, so it's likely when, spoiler, Iron Man does it. And yeah, it looks like that's the dust from Endgame, which is crazy. We got the Avengers logo down here, Marvel Studios. And then we have the Infinity Saga on the side here with all of the classic Marvel superheroes. So I really like this. We've got some purple, blues, greens going on, a little bit of yellow in the corner. And I like it. I think it's cool and kind of adds a bit more of like pop to the box in general, right? If that makes any sense to you guys. <laughs> but up here it says the Infinity Saga. The Avengers logo is still down here. And then here is the back of the box. It says armed with Stormbreaker and Mjolnir. I don't know if I, if that's the right pronunciation. It's very hard. But anyway, the son of Odin steps onto the battlefield to face Thanos one final time. And then we have the Avengers Endgame poster in the corner here. And I, yeah, I really like it. It's kind of a bit of a reflective, shiny, glossy uh, photo of the Avengers, which is really, really cool. So that's the back of it. And then there's one more side. I don't know if I, I don't think I showed this side. So this is the other side. Yep. And this is some more Marvel superheroes and then we have Thor on this side as you can see because that's who we're unboxing. I really wanted Captain America but he's just so expensive. <laughs> so maybe I'll get him another time. Um, but yeah, really cool colors going on again and I dig it. So here's the top of it. It just says Avengers Thor and again we have that dust up here. So let's unbox it. Just gonna take him out like so. Really nicely well-kept box, I have to say. And I hope you guys are all doing really well. I feel like I forgot to say that in the beginning. Um, but I do hope your 2024 is going okay. You know, I think that this will be uploaded probably, I don't even know, really far out. Because I have a lot of unboxings to come. But yeah, this is probably going to be set maybe for March or even after that. And I'm filming, believe it or not, guys, in February. That's how long these videos, like... <laughs> I have to wait until these videos come out. But yeah, I hope your 2024 is going well. And let's open him. Oh my god, this is so cool. So the background, I didn't even see this, is all the Avengers logo. We have the Captain America shield. We have the Avengers logo. Where's Thor at? Where's his symbol at? Somebody's like, it's right there. <laughs> Maybe it's on the other side or something. I see Wanda. This is so cool. Probably because it's Endgame, so they made it like a special background, but wow, that is so cool. So this is the back of it, right? I don't know if I should turn down the exposure a bit. All right, guys, so I turned down the exposure a bit, so now you can kind of see the background a bit more. And this is the background of what Thor comes in. Really cool, we got all the symbols. It's a simple white background. We've got Iron Man. There's Thor. Boom. Spotted him. <laughs> But yeah, really, really cool. And it's just a piece of cardboard. That's all it is. And then it came with this like little pamphlet thing. Probably just, you know, uh, warnings, instructions, whatever it is. Okay, so we're gonna move this and take a look at Thor. Bump up the exposure again. <laughs> all right, guys, so here is Thor in his packaging. So right off the bat, we see Thor himself. We have Stormbreaker here. We've got some hand pieces. I can never pronounce Mjolnir. I'm sorry. I don't know. But you know, his hammer. And then we've got some cool lightning bolts. So what we're going to do now is take them out of the package and get some good close-ups of these pieces. Guys, we got another smelly one. <laughs> what is up with Marvel Legends that sit to smell so bad? 
So I like to be real with you all. And again, he's another smelly one, guys. Sylvie was smelly and now he's smelly. And I think it's just because it's like plastic and whatever material it is, it just, it stinks when it sits in that box for many, I don't know, years or something. I don't know what it is, but it does not smell good. <laughs> okay. I mean, really. <laughs> so yeah, that's just right off the bat. Uh, I have to tell, I have to say that. So we're going to uh, do some of his pieces. I think I'll start with the hand pieces first. So here are Thor's hands. I quite like these because they actually have veins in them, which is really cool. That's a really great detail. And it just looks more realistic when they put stuff like that on figures. So yeah, there are Thor's hands to hold likely the lightning bolts. Of course, we'll try to make him hold some items at the end of this. So yeah, there are his hands. Flip them around for you guys to see. Kind of creepy looking. I always think the hands look very weird when I'm holding them, but they always look decent on the figure. Okay, next up is going to be the lightning bolts. So they are the same kind of bolt, but here it is. I wonder if I should turn off my light just a bit so you guys can see them a bit better. I don't know. Okay, so that's a bit better. I turned off the light and you can kind of see it's not as bright as it was. It looked like it was really bright, bright blue, but it is a light blue color. So there is the first one. Okay, and then the second one. So they are exactly the same. There, I don't think there's any difference in the two of these. So here are his lightning bolts. Very, very cool. Next up, we're going to do Stormbreaker. And it looks like this is kind of, now this is actually translucent, it kind of looks like. So if you can see the edge here, the sharp edge, kind of looks a little translucent, a little see-through. Like I'll put my finger back there see you can kind of see through it a bit so that's pretty cool and so he's got the wooden staff that holds it and it's really designed pretty well I have to admit uh, there's a lot of detail in this uh, just for being a tiny figure and yeah it's really nice looking so he's got his blue stormbreaker and then as we can see it kind of does have the curve like it does in the film so that's accurate and yeah, there is Stormbreaker. Now we're gonna bring up Thor's hammer. Tell me which one you guys prefer. Do you like Stormbreaker or the hammer better? And I mean like film wise, you know, not figure wise. I think I prefer the hammer cause it's just, I just think it's cooler. I don't know why, but it's preferred the hammer over Stormbreaker for some reason. But uh, maybe cause it's like classic Thor, I guess. But here is Mjolnir. <laughs> <laughs> Never know if I say it right, but I really, really love this. This might be my favorite item that he comes with because he's got the lightning bolts inside of it. You know, it's like cracked and it just looks super, super cool. And then of course we have the brown handle. So yeah, there's the front and the back and I will show the side of it. There is the side of it, the one side, we'll flip it over and here's the other side. So yeah, that's probably my favorite item thus far. Really, really cool. Okay, now Thor himself, and as I said to you guys, he smells, and I'm sick of the smelliness. <laughs> it just drives me nuts because I'm very sensitive to smell. So here is Thor. Of course, he's got the scar on his face. He's got his eyes whitened because that's the moment, you know, he actually holds the lightning bolts. His eyes usually turn pretty white. And then we're going to pan down a bit. We see his suit. I really like his suit. You know, it's black. It's simple. But yeah, he's got his <laughs> his belly armor on. And then we'll pan down a bit to his pants. So here are his pants, right? And then we've got his shoes. And I will say, I really like the head sculpt. I think he looks great. So we'll turn him a bit. The back of his hair. And then the other side of him. I will say the likeliness of Chris Hemsworth is pretty decent. Although for some reason, when I really look at him up close... It kind of looks like he's an older version of Chris Hemsworth on a Thor figure, if that makes any sense. But it's not bad. You know, when you look at it, it's pretty well done, in my opinion. I don't think it looks exactly like Chris Hemsworth, but it definitely does resemble him for me. And there's a lot of moments where I look at it and I'm like, oh, wow, that really does look like him. But uh, there's that small percentage that maybe not so much. That's just my own opinion, but I still think he looks great. He's got his long blonde hair. He's got his braided beard. <laughs> his mustache and yeah he looks he looks awesome so we're gonna take a look at the cape so here is his cape swaying in the wind actually I think I quite like his cape compared to other ones because it has a lot of lines which makes it look way more detailed um and I like that it looks like it's swaying that always just makes me happy for some reason I will say though I know that you can make figures look totally different when you get custom capes I've thought about it so maybe down the line I will because I love photographing these but 
Uh, yeah, for the most part, pretty good cape. Can't lie there. And of course, he has his little uh, design on the back there, the black part just above uh, holding his cape. I wonder if I could move his legs. Okay, so I haven't really been doing this, but I'm gonna start trying to remember to move the figure a bit because sometimes I forget. But here are his legs. Okay, so the, they were a bit stiff when moving, but most Marvel Legends are kind of like that. Kind of like hit or miss when moving the item. Um, his arms move pretty well. Cannot lie, right? So we'll move those. And I like the little tiny design right here on his arms. That looks really, really, like, well done. <laughs> it sounds like I'm talking about steak or something, but, you know, I think it looks good. All right, so let's get him to hold stuff. Actually, guys, it looks like he's meant to hold the lightning bolts like this, which is the first time I've seen a figure meant to hold something in a certain direction, right? So here are the lightning bolts, and he's holding them. But I'm sure if you, like, kind of mess around with his hands a bit more, you can put them in a different you know, way, but it really looks like he's supposed to hold them just like this. They look pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. If you were to take photos of these, I think it would look pretty great. So here is him holding Stormbreaker. He can actually hold this pretty well. Yeah, he holds this pretty well, see? We'll kind of move him around a bit. And there you go. I think his hand pieces are probably one of the most well done I've seen so far, just because I like to make them hold items and sometimes they just fall right out of their hands, right? Which kind of drives me nuts. So, oh wow. Wait a minute, so this actually kind of looks like the hammer is moving, which is pretty cool. So it looks like it is in motion. I don't know if he's supposed to hold it like this, but it looks like maybe he is. Um, just to like, you know how he does the swing and it goes in a circle? It looks like that's what he is doing. Wow, that's really cool. And I'm sorry, my neighbor's like leaf blowing or something, which is the strangest thing because it's winter time. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, that looks really, really cool. I feel like he has the best items out of all the Marvel Legends I've had, and he's holding them the best, you know? So, I'm very happy with this figure so far. We'll show you guys that it looks like this could be another way for him to hold the hammer, and I'm not gonna, like, swap the pieces because I prefer the hands he has on right now, but it looks like you could do something like this, you know, which is pretty cool. But again, holding these items, you might need some tape or something like that. All right, guys, so let's put him down for one final review. Hey, everybody, so here is the final review of Thor from Endgame Marvel Legend. So I have to say, he has some of the best pieces, probably the best hands as well, to hold these items, which is really what I wanted because I take photos of these. So that's something I take into consideration when I unbox them, is how well are they going to hold these items and look when doing so. But overall... I have no really complaints other than the fact he smells just like Sylvie did. Uh, I can't stand that smell. It just, it really drives me crazy because I'm sensitive to smell in general. But <laughs> besides that, I love the lightning bolts. You know, the hand pieces are cool. I love the hammer Stormbreaker. And my favorite piece is definitely the hammer. I just think it looks amazing. And the fact he's holding it in a way where it looks like it's in motion is really cool. Endgame was such a big moment for Marvel, and I feel like a lot of people, you know, kind of left after Endgame, which I can definitely see both sides. I always try to listen to both sides of, you know, why they don't watch it, watch Marvel anymore, or why they do. Uh, it's good to keep an open mind. But, yeah, I really loved Endgame, and it sat and stuck with me for a very long time, because, you know, spoiler if you haven't watched it, you know, Iron Man ends up saving the universe, and it just, it just stuck with me for a while, you know? So yeah, anyway, this is Thor. That was just a little side note. Front and back, I always like to do one of these. And you get to see his whole outfit. And I hope I showed like the side of him. Here's the back of him. You know, he's got little details still. He's got like a gold armor trim right there. But, you know, he looks pretty accurate to the film. That's really Thor right there on my table, <laughs> which is crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I do action figure unboxings mainly on this channel. Um, I did do some dolls. So if you're interested in that content, please subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day wherever you're at in the world. All right, hope to see you in my next one. Bye now.